This film represents a very different era in policing, isn't, doesn't it? Uh, it, yeah, it, it takes place in 1999 in Los Angeles during the, uh, what is localized known as the, uh, the Rampart Scandal. It follows one cop, uh, played by Woody Harrelson, named Dave Brown, or Date Rape Dave Brown. As, uh, as he descends further into himself with a world that is changing, he refuses to change. And what, what kind of research, because you're obviously you're in the film as, as well as you're a, you're a producer, uh, what kind of research did you have to do about the, the police force back in that time? that I had to do? Well, you know, I'm playing a homeless vet, so I had different homework. Um, collectively, we spoke with the policemen that were there doing the things that they were, they were doing. So, uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty thoroughly researched. And, and you are a producer in the film. Um, what made you want to take on, put on board that kind of role as well? Uh, I suppose... 18 years of being in front of the camera, I was exhausted and thought maybe I'd help uh, see if I could be useful in, a, in another capacity. And, and working with, with Oren, um, who's someone, uh, you know, since The Messenger, just would love to work with him. I, all actors will say that about working with Oren, though. Does it make you connect even more to the project because you're investing so much more of yourself into it, too? Sure, well, time begets commitment so uh, nine months of pre-production you shoot a film then you're in editing for months and then uh, you, you hopefully get your movie into a, a great festival and then you sell it and then you hope that it uh, gets a distribution that, that, that is supported with P&A and then it's out and then you hope people show up and yeah there's a lot of commitment to this there's a particular message isn't it that you're trying to send out with this film is there I don't know yeah. but uh, I thought there was. I think there are a lot. I, I'm hoping there are a lot of messages in, in this film. But uh, ultimately, what I hope audiences get out of it is some kind of an engagement with a character that they're not supposed to like and that they're not supposed to feel anything for, and that ultimately would never feel anything for them. And going on this journey with him, a very subjective journey, well, by the end of it, you may recognize a certain kind of humanity within yourself. Not necessarily within him, but within yourself to tolerate someone like that and feel like, well, he's part of a bigger picture. Um, that would be, uh, you know, sort of the tremendous reward of, of making this movie. And um, when you, with the, 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 the Rampart scandal is based on fact, obviously. Yes. Um, what was your choice to use a narrative as opposed to going for a more sort of documentary, maybe style film? Right. Well, it started with James Elroy, who, who really wrote a script with the idea of exonerating the LAPD from all its misdeeds. Uh, I came into it with a different kind of agenda, and uh, I was very interested in this fictional story of uh, a guy who refuses to change at the time of great change because the LAPD was going through a lot of changes at the time. The federal government came in, they started an oversight procedure of sort of like how to change um, the old ways of behaving. And he's someone who just wants to keep everything the way it is and wants to you know, so keep behaving in the way he does. And he can't. And he sort of, it's a time where you sort of had to either change and save your life or, or not change and risk everything. And he's a character who risks everything. And by the end of it, he may end up with nothing. And, um, you know, and by the time he loses the audience, he loses everything. So. And um, did you always have Woody in mind when you were casting for the role and writing from, for the role? From the first day, it had to be Woody Harrelson. You know, I, I couldn't think of anyone in the world that would want to play that character. And does, it, does that help you as a writer? Because you, then you can sort of uh, picture him really in your mind as, as you're writing the, the, the story. Actually, you know, the, the truth of the matter is I never think of actors when I write. I only think of them when we start the casting. And, uh, and sometimes, you know, the immediate response is it has to be this person. But when I write, I don't, I don't know that I ever think. I, mean, I, I probably think of myself playing every role you know there's some sort of like frustrated actor hiding in there somewhere who, you know. masking as a director masking as a director and who will never act in his life because he, he cannot but you know. but you know how to bring the best out in actors I you know that's very kind of you I, I try I try